is this good? How about this? Yeah, like right like where that, right? I think there, I think I think that's good. Yeah, that's probably the best I've ever looked. Yeah. God, it's hot. It's not that hot, and you know you're gay when you're fanning yourself with the Ed and James vinyl <laughs> record. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Dustin. Hey, Berta. <laughs> and it is almost 2022, which is unbelievable. It's crazy, right? And I feel like we've had a lot of fun this year. Lots of ups and lots of downs, but I think we've oh. had lots of downs. Uh oh. Some downs, but mostly ups, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, at least for me, yeah. jeez. Because of that, we wanted to do a quick Q&A with you guys. And yes, yeah. we are going to do a holiday video. We're taking some time to curate that. It will be a duo of Christmas and New Year's. Wow. That will be next week. But this one. week, we're going to do a New Year's Q&A, which I'm excited about. So in preparation for this video, we both prepared questions for each other, but we haven't read them ahead of time. So yeah. this will be fun. All right, Burton. Ask me what you want to know. Okay, so what was your favorite moment of 2021? Favorite moment of 2021? That's a good question. Um, I think my favorite moment was when we hired my brother full time to work on the farm for us. Oh yeah. Mainly because, one, it's my brother, we're best friends, I love him. I realized as we, are, we dove into this farm thing, how overwhelming it is, and we need oh, help. Like, and yes. There really isn't a better person to help us on this project than my brother to oversee this because he's so talented when it comes to design and horticulture and plants and sustainability. So I think that's been the highlight of this year is really drawing our family into this huge project that we're trying to do together. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Uncle Chacha's call. Hey. 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 What are you wearing? You? Um, wearing your dad's shirt. That's really creepy. <laughs> We're videoing YouTube, by the way. Uncle Chacha, you're on YouTube right now. Say hi to everybody. Am I really live? Yeah. Say hi. I'm going live. Hi. <laughs> so, Burton, what is the biggest parenting lesson that you've learned <laughs> over the last year? <laughs> Why do you have to give me the hard one? And, and there's probably like 500, but <laughs> like, give me one that was substantial this last year. Okay, so. You know, not to be one-sided, but you know, Holland is at an age where she's soaking up everything, and she's in a family with a lot of men. Yeah, she does me and two. Son. Yeah, right. And so I think we need to instill that confidence in her that she needs to be a strong woman, yeah. or how to be a strong woman. And you guys may remember I made a video a while back. Holland and I were sitting on a tractor in the middle of a field, <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to her about being a strong woman because she had come to me. Um, at some point earlier than that video and said, you know, she was surprised that I had a woman for a boss. Yeah. And so, you know, it was, you know, that really clicked in my head that we needed to, to make sure that she really understood that women are... Can do anything. Can, are leaders. Women <laughs> can do anything. Women are bosses. And and so we started to buy her books like uh, the, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg book. For and the Michelle Obama book. And the Michelle Obama book. So yeah. she, ha she has both. And it's crazy when we read these two, both Stone and Holland, um, and Nighttime has, by the way, RBG is her favorite book. And so Stone, Stone asks, because it shows Ruth Bader Ginsburg and they're holding up it's like a it's like a courthouse and she's holding above her head and stone's like is she is she a superhero and i'm like yes and i'm like she is a superhero and yeah. so it's just um you know i think those are the those are the values and uh, you know i guess parenting lessons that really ring true here it's so true i feel like you know also with me like i find myself and i don't know if it's just because we are a two dad family but because i feel like i hear and catch other parents do this too that they refer to everything as a boy when it comes to like objects right so yeah, true. they'll grab a teddy bear and the nose will be falling off and they're like oh no how did his nose fall off and, yeah. and and i have tried to be really conscious of making sure that i do like how did the bear's nose fall off or Gender how did something. she her nose fall off so yeah. you know making sure that we do that so it's not always about amplifying yeah. boys in our household especially for holland this year we have got a lot of direct messages lots of emails from folks who are who are scared to come out and um so do you have any advice for those people me <laughs> yeah. You try to you try to give me a zinger. So I'm giving you this. 
You know, I feel like it really is important to remember that it's your own time and what you're comfortable with. Um, and a lot of times we're getting these emails from people that live in countries where they would actually, you know, be cast away from their community, from their family, or even harmed. So it really depends on each person. But I do have to say, you know, really being able to trust someone else. Like if you could find someone that you trust, that you can open up to, sure, sure. that dialogue will actually help you internally just work through and sort through those emotions and feelings. If you can find someone that you can trust. Now, even if you feel like you can't, there are definitely hotlines and things like that that you can reach out to. So you can at least have a listening ear. Um, but you know, don't let anyone rush you. You know, you have to do that in your own time, and don't feel guilty about not being at a place where you feel like others, other people feel like you should be. Right. So well said. And we will try to let's put some resources in the description below for for folks. Uh, Trevor Project, other different resources down below, and also we'll put a link to our previous YouTube video where we told our own coming out story. Yeah. It's not always easy, but it's also, uh, you know, it's our truth and maybe it will help you out in your journey. Yeah. So what was something unexpected but exciting that happened to you this last year? Oh my gosh. The most recent thing is I won the lottery three nights in a row. What? You didn't tell me this. I mean, it's only three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars every night, but still, like, who wins the lottery three nights in a row? I don't know. Me. That is exciting. <laughs> what was a new skill that you learned this past year? Oh man, a new skill. Um, gosh. Okay, so I have never really composted before, and so <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know this was gonna be it. <laughs> So I feel like it's because we have a farm and because yeah. we are trying to create fertilizer and things for our gardens, I've been composting my little butt off. So like anything that looks a little rotten, I've been saving it and bringing it to the farm. And so I'm really excited about that because I mean, obviously we've talked about sustainability yeah. and how we can all be a part of that. But before, like I really wasn't a gardener, so I didn't really hold on to it. And, you know, talking with my brother, I realized that you can still compost and then give that to local farmers in your area or people that garden that might be neighbors because all that stuff is so incredibly nutrient for gardens that, you know, you don't want to just throw it away. So composting, that is my new skill. Yeah. I'm like really excited <laughs> about it. I don't know if it's your new skill. He texts it. He calls his brother every time and he's like, or coffee grinds? <laughs> can, I, can I do coffee grinds? And he's like, yep. And he's like, yeah. Orange peels? Yeah. Are there any new types of exercises that you are excited about learning in the new year? Kegels. What are Kegels? Do you know what a Kegel is? No. What is that? <laughs> do you know? I don't know. I've heard of this. Are Kegels? Aren't those the, like when you your ankles swell up? No, those are cankles. <laughs> Kegels are like the inner thigh, like, I think. Like a, like a thigh master? Kind of, I don't know. Here's the definition of Kegel. Kegel. Denoting exercises performed by a woman to strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, involving repetitions of both sustained and rapid voluntary contractions of the muscles and used especially to treat urinary incontinence and improve <laughs> sexual function. <laughs> well, I, I, know, I know that we could probably work on the pelvic exercises if you want to. 2022. <laughs> See y'all later. Just New Year's resolutions about how you're going to take better care of yourself, but how are other people going to benefit from you taking care of yourself? Ooh, that's a good I'll just one. sit back. It's <laughs> you. Well, if I do better kegels, I think you would benefit from <laughs> kegels. <laughs> I've been a huge advocate about self love and taking care of yourself because. I know that if I'm not going to take care of myself and put myself first, then I'm not going to be a good husband, I'm not going to be a good father. Sure. So yep. the more that I spend time doing exercises, clearing my mind, taking meditation moments, I know that I can be a better husband to you and a better father to our children and just a happy person because, you know, I've dealt with depression in my life and I know that taking care of myself and, and working out and exercising 
makes me a happier person. So then I'm more enjoyable to be around from other people. That was supposed to be a zinger and he still nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> In the last year, we have also yep. gotten a lot of questions about our surrogacy journey. Yep. What would you say, a piece of advice for anyone that's trying to build their family, whether it be adoption, fostering, surrogacy, do you have any sound advice for those out there? The advice that I would give is that you need to build that community around you because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's tough, right? It's financially <laughs> tough, it's mentally tough. Um, emotionally. Emotionally, yeah. it's, a, it's a roller coaster. And so having that strong network, uh, friendships, partner, family, like you really have to kind of tap into all those resources because it's not easy. It's not easy raising yeah. kids. And a lot of times when we have people that are wanting to be single parents, that's our biggest advice to them is like, that's totally fine. But you need to make sure that you have a strong community around you to help you because it's overwhelming. Yeah. It really takes a village to raise children. And, and that sounds cliche. Everyone says it takes a village, but it does. But it, it, really, it really does. And you want that You want that village around you. It makes you more well-rounded. It makes your kids more well-rounded. Yeah. So, and we went through IVF. So if you guys are on that path and you want some resources for if you're having fertility issues, we can actually include that in our description yeah. so that you have a go-to resource to help you navigate through those. Yeah, and we we have a, a couple of videos, I think, on our fertility journey, and so we'll put links to those in there as well. And this is not uh, a, just a same-sex thing, right? Even right. if you're having issues and you're a you're a, a straight couple, yeah. that's okay too. The same path and journey applies to you, and so we'll put those resources in there for you as well. If you could have a Saki or RuPaul's Drag Race for the rest of your life. <laughs> Which oh my god, this is awful. This is probably the, the hardest question you've asked me. Hey, I mean, um, two favorite things. You usually do it on the same night. I, I'm gonna have to choose RuPaul over Saki. Like, get out. Go. Because I always have. Here's the divorce bourbon <laughs> and margaritas. That's true. There are, there are other ways. Since you deal with finances for a living, what do you have advice wise for me? And for everyone else out there for 2022, everybody panic buy gold, bury it. <laughs> I mean, one of those people that like are all about like <laughs> we we buy gold. Like, do you get that? Is yeah. that like a thing? We should be buying gold. Yeah, you should always buy gold. It's called the. We have never bought gold. It's diverse. I have gold. We it's in a safety we, deposit box. What safety? <laughs> What safety deposit box? Is safe always crazy? You mean safety deposit box? I don't even know that. Like, I didn't realize he, we had- He will when I die. There's a key uh, in the will. I'm so good. <laughs> so this is the rapid fire section of the screen. <laughs> okay. In 2022, I want to repeat blank. Yeah. Not just repeat, I want to conquer the what. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> I just want to keep on vacation. Okay. <laughs> that was so good. Yeah. Well, not the altitude sickness. No, no, no. All right, so in 2022, you want to lose less hair. <laughs> in 2022, you want to gain uh, your husband to have more hair. <laughs> in 2022, you want to enjoy the farm. I know, like yeah. we every like we leave there, we go there all the time. Yeah, many times per week. And when we drive back from the farm into the city, which isn't long, it's only a 10, 15 minute drive. It's yeah. just you we know, we just want to live there. We just want to live there. And when you drive from our house to the farm, it, it, it like you decompress as yeah. soon as you get out there. Which so is why we want to spend twenty twenty two in designing our house. Ooh, so that's going to be exciting. So I think we decided that we want to build our home out there and sell the house that we're in. So I mean, that's exciting news. We just, just talked about this last week though, so it might change. <laughs> <laughs> in twenty twenty two. I want to save her. I want to save her. Um, Not save her, tooth. <laughs> save her. Save her. I want to save her. I want to save her these moments with our kids because I feel like they're getting oh my so much older. This is crazy. They're like, I just I need, a, I need like a time capsule. I just need time to stand still for a moment 
but I'm I'm happy about about the milestones, but I'm gonna savor each moment. I know, like the other day, stones like my tooth is wiggling. I know. And we're like he's losing the tooth, and, and I was like, nope, it's not. For a week and a half, I'm like, no, 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 it can't be. You know, it's, it's not exactly. happening. It's like, <laughs> he's, his tooth is like he's like falling out of his mouth. Like, no, he's like, losing his fucking like, tooth. tooth. And I'm like, and it was so cute because Holland was like a little jealous. Yeah. She was like, I I don't have any loose teeth, you know. I'm like, it's okay, like. It was cute, uh, but so she yeah. just punched hers out. <laughs> <laughs> I lost the first one. She's very competitive in that one. I need more of in 2022. Vacations because of COVID. I need kegels. <laughs> Kegels. Or is it kegels? Whatever. I need pellet dusting. <laughs> so we want to end by thanking you for an amazing 20. 21. Yes, and we're so excited about 2022 because not? we're all about new beginnings. That's right. New Refresh. goals, new milestones. Rebirth. And got all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope that you have a wonderful New Year. So happy New Year to you and all of your local ones. That's right. Thank you so much for all your support. Yeah. New Year's good. Oh. I don't know. Oh. Oh, me. Right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make 2022 even better. <laughs>